I feel honored to be chosen as one of five in the world. Just let that, you know, sink in. Five in the world. Today, I would say she's the best. She cares a lot and she, she's working really hard for a lot of social important things in, in society. She asks so many questions. Some of the questions I don't like is stupid, but some of them are really brilliant. That makes her very interesting. That was my dream from when I was very little. And uh, somewhere along the line, um, I realized I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a girl, I'm a woman. So my perception of being a professional footballer is not what I thought it would be. It hit me at some point, I don't know. I thought the f I, I was actually part of the 2003 World Cup squad that came second. And after that, I thought everyone knows who I am because now I've been in the World Cup final and they're in the squad. Everyone knows me now. And then I woke up and realized, oh, wait a minute, it's women's football. And it's not really like that. But being a female footballer means for me now that I I'm part of something that opens doors for so many other girls and women in the world that still struggles with their own rights, or right to play football, or just right to be a human being. We got beaten 5-1 against Brazil in the group stage, and we think we need to do something. And then we're facing uh, US in the quarterfinal. We're gonna play in uh, Brasilia against, against the world champions. 1-1 after 120 minutes and penalty shootouts. And the one thing I was certain of in that penalty shootout was where Alex Morgan was going to strike it. And I, and I take that one. Her face after saving, it's contagious because it's not about her, it's about the team. So she looks at all of us. Now we need to, to do this right and we need to win this game. I'm going to remember for it because it was important and we had to uh, we had to do that to, to move forward in the, in the tournament and, and it was important for her, for us, for, for the whole Sweden. So that will stay in my memory. Now I find myself in a big setting, a big club where I can focus on being a goalkeeper, being the best goalkeeper I can be. Of course, it's been a journey internally in Chelsea as well. Like when, we, when I came to the club, we had to wash our own kit. But right now, I feel like it's a really good environment for any professional footballer, and I am very happy to be part of it. It's an exciting time to be part of women's football wherever you are in the world right now. It's just, it's like a, it's like it's a boiling, like it's, it's just waiting to you know, really take off. And maybe all of my years that I struggled will kind of be worth it.